Hi everybody, this is Vasco Duarte, the host of the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast. This is a very quick video to introduce to you what the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast is about. And to do that, I would like to tell you how, why I started doing the podcast in the first place. So I started as a Scrum Master in 2004 and there was barely nothing out there. I mean, look at the Scrum Alliance website in 2004. It was basically text and the list of courses. There was nothing else there, right? And if you couldn't go to those courses, how would you learn? Now, look at the difference. Today's 2017 and the Scrum Alliance website looks totally different. It is a proper business. So, of course, as we start our journey as Scrum Masters, team members, product owners, we need to find information. We need to learn quickly. But how do you do that when there's nothing out there? So, of course, I started to uh, uh, by joining a local meetup, which is something you can do as well. Just join a local meetup and, you know, get to know people, get to learn what's happening, find interesting companies if you're looking for a new opportunity. Or you can start a book club at your company, get some people together that want to learn and, you know, read a book and, and share with each other uh, the ideas and thoughts you have. Now, the problem is that this is not happening quick enough. As I was starting... I basically read the uh, Scrum, the Agile Software Development with Scrum book, the Black Book, and I started doing it, right? So I had questions every day. So I needed to learn every day. Now, I could go to conferences and also get feedback. And by the way, I wrote an article about uh, the best conferences in Agile space out there. You can find it in this bit.ly link here. Uh, you decide which one fits you, you know, distance, cost, whatever, and then you decide and then you go and you network a lot. You get to talk to a lot of people. That is brilliant. And most importantly, you get feedback on the, um, on the ideas, the practices that you have. And that's awesome. You get feedback from your peers. But, you know, as agile guys, like, why would you have feedback only twice or three times a year? That's not a good idea. We need feedback faster, right? And that's why we need to learn every day. But how do I do that? So in 2008, I start my own conference series, Scan Agile, which still goes on in Helsinki, Finland these days. And then after a while, after a few years, I started another conference series, the Less Conference Series, which happened three times. And that I learned a lot through that, but that's not every day. So of course, back then I started my own conference series. So the next logical step is if I want to learn every day, I need to start a podcast and interview people every day. And this is what we do on the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast. We get guests from all experience levels, from all industries, and we have those super duper bonus episodes with gurus and amazing people to talk about the topics that we have to struggle with as Scrum Masters every day. And there in the podcast, we cover failures uh, because of, obviously we learn a lot from failure, right? Everybody will fail at some point, but we don't need to repeat each other's failures. We can learn from the failures of our peers, get new information and act differently. We also cover teams, right? Team dynamics, motivation, conflict resolution. We cover change management because as Scrum Masters, we are very likely in a change management process right now. If not our team, maybe the organization, right? And we also cover what it means to be successful because how can we improve if we are not trying to be successful and trying to assess our own success in our role as Scrum Masters every day. And on top of that, of course, the organization is asking, why do we have so many Scrum Masters? What is the value that they are bringing in? And we need to show to others also what kind of value we bring in. So we talk about what it means to be successful. And finally, we talk about what we call the system, which is basically everything that happens around the team, right? You know, maybe there's a big conflict brewing in the team, but where does it come from? Is it really between the people or is there certain system conditions around like, you know, um, uh, something to do with HR policies that is causing the problem? Uh, maybe interaction with other teams and the other teams are not helping us because they have other things that are affecting them, like other other teams themselves or, or, or they just lost somebody 
who is really critical in the team. Whatever the reason is, we need to look at the overall system to understand what's happening in our team. So we also talk about that in our daily show. So basically the podcast is daily inspiration to action. Every weekday, a new idea to try out immediately at Scrum Masters. But we also have the bonus episodes where on the weekend, so every weekday we have a new uh, interview with Scrum Master episode. And then on the weekends, we have bonus episodes where we go deeper into a topic that we want to learn more about. In short, there's loads of knowledge and all available for free right now and every day at the Scrum Master toolbox.org. As I record this video, we already have more than 670 episodes. <laughs> so a lot of stuff to catch up with. But don't be overwhelmed because you can start today, start listening, and then just search the website and figure out what topics matter and listen to those shows. It's all available for free and forever. Now, we do a lot of uh, work for this. We invest a lot of time. We also invest a lot of money to get this podcast going. So if you like the podcast and you think that this would help some of your friends with their work, please do me a favor and share the podcast with them. So uh, we do this for free for you. And all I'm asking is please share this with your friends and the people you think will benefit from the show. So... Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to work with uh, uh, this project and we will continue to work with this project for you guys, Scrum Masters out there. Keep listening.